The Chevrolet Performance Super Late Model Series point leader Ronnie Johnson comes home second tonight in the sixth annual Buddy Rogers Memorial 44. Ronnie, I guess uh, Mac McCarter got tired of running second to you. Yeah, he changed a uh, uh, series on us and, and won him a race, but uh, he, he ran good. He's capable. Uh, he's had a bunch of good runs earlier this year, you know, with our, with our sister series and, um, you know, but wasn't able to quite pull off a win and um, glad to see him win. I told him earlier that I enjoy a good race, especially if I'm in it, but um, he had a, just a little better car. We qualified better than him, but he got the start and uh, was able to pull away there a little. I could close in on lap traffic and um, the racetrack started slowing down in the line he was running and we were trying to capitalize on that and just never could, never could, quite could get it done. I tell you, it seemed like you were working that bottom and uh, like you said, he was up on the high side, kept getting slower and slower. Were you surprised that he moved down as quickly as he did being a, a young driver? No, I mean, I, I didn't think he would stay up there, but honestly, there really, I think there was another groove up above there, so honestly i was hoping he would move down but he didn't move down enough and uh he did a good job with lap cars you know he's uh coming from 411 speedway and you know racing uh here at taswell in 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 this area you know he knows that you got to dispose of the lap cars when you get to them if possible uh so he he did a good job of that but uh man i would uh i would have loved to have won this thing uh uh when i first started racing and then you know i used to watch buddy rogers race um all around this area and he used to come to cleveland and north georgia and some of the tracks closer to me um him and all the guys up this way he vineyard bill corum herman goddard i mean i could go on and on those were those were the guys that i really kind of had my apprenticeship you know with a with a local guy there at home that's that's who we raced with a lot um, and then you know race with ricky rogers and um even ricky's son steven some there so we'd have loved to want it uh maybe next year going to a track next saturday that you like you've won at this year and in years past 411 motor speedway you know um i don't think we've ever run the 525 there uh you know obviously um we we haven't been there as a series and i've got a lot of experience with the 525 in the past few years but i don't think we've ever run that i don't think i've ever run that engine there but um you know hopefully we have some good weather next week the weather's been a hindrance uh you know obviously for this race um hope we have a good good weather because that always brings a good feel to cars and uh you know and a, and a good turnout so uh yeah we're looking forward to that all right well we'll look forward to seeing you there Ronnie Johnson coming home third tonight in the sixth annual Buddy Rogers Memorial 44 for the Chevrolet Performance Super Late Model Series at Tazewell Speedway in Tazewell, Tennessee.